Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago, with 18,330 islands, 6,000 of which are inhabited. The island nation has 167 active volcanoes, far more than any other country, and some of the world's largest remaining tracts of tropical forest. Indonesia is a leisure seeker's paradise as well as an adventurer's playground. Whether you want to sunbathe on beautiful beaches, go on a hike in search of endangered orangutans, or snorkel among some of the world's most beautiful coral reefs, Indonesia has something for everyone. Hey, everyone, welcome to Travel and Living. In today's video, we are going to go over the top 10 places to visit in Indonesia. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10. Raja Ampat Islands. Raja Ampat, an island cluster off the northwest coast of Papua New Guinea, is one of Indonesia's most spectacular diving destinations. Raja Ampat is made up of four major jungle-clad islands surrounded by turquoise lagoons and pearly white palm-fringed beaches, Waigio, Salawati, Masul, and Batanta, as well as thousands of smaller islands. The archipelago is famous for its diverse marine life and underwater coral reefs, which are home to up to 75% of all known coral species. It's so beautiful, with everything from underwater photography to wreck diving, that you should definitely invest in an underwater camera. Offshore, however, is not the only place to have a good time. The islands are also a great place to go birdwatching. Bring your binoculars and keep an eye out for eagles swooping overhead and birds of paradise like the Wilsons and Sandrawash chirping in the treetops as you hike to waterfalls and mysterious age-old caves. Number 9. Tanjung Pudding National Park. Tanjung Pudding National Park is one of the world's natural wonders, famous for its endangered orangutans, some of the planet's last of these orange, long-haired primates. The park is located in the jungles of Borneo, the world's third largest island, which is shared by Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Sultanate of Brunei. It is home to a variety of wild lowland habitats on a peninsula overlooking the Java Sea. The habitats range from swamp forests to alluvial plains and ocean coastline, providing a home to a diverse array of wildlife so diverse that it was designated as a game reserve before becoming a national park in 1982. While orangutans are the obvious draw, the park also has the odd-nosed proboscis monkey, the vulnerable clouded leopard, and over 200 bird species. Combine these rare animal sightings with fresh jungle air and no light pollution for excellent stargazing, and the park is the ideal adventure. It's up to you whether to explore on foot or by Clotok boat with a knowledgeable guide. Number 8. Flores Island. Flores, an Indonesian island, means flowers in Portuguese, and got its name from European missionaries who arrived in the 16th century. The long island of Flores in Nusa Tenggara is famous for its amazing multicolored crater lakes around Mount Kelamutu, traditional village homestays, and endless opportunities for adventure tourism. It is located to the east of Sumbawa and to the west of Lembada. The lakes are truly a sight to behold, with colors ranging from browns and greens to aqua blue caused by minerals reacting to the gas emitted by the region's volcanoes. The three-colored lake of Kelimutu is a must-see from the volcano's summit at sunrise. Egan Volcano can be reached via self-guided or guided hike for those looking for more physical activity. There are many offshore islands and coral reefs to explore on the north coast with an exhilarating dive or snorkel. Alternatively, you can simply unwind and soak your aching muscles in the enchanting hot springs hidden deep within the jungle, bliss. Number 7. Torahaland. Known as the Land of the Heavenly Kings, Torahaland, Tana Toraha, is a region of lush central highlands in Indonesia's southern Sulawesi, dotted with rice fields, limestone peaks, and bamboo clad hills. Tana Toraha is home to the Toraha, a Christian and animist people with a fascinating culture that has remained largely and surprisingly independent of Western influence. Toragians are known for their massive peaked roof houses known as Tonkonan as well as their spectacular but gruesome funeral rites. After a person dies, the body is kept, often for many years, until the funeral ceremony, which can last several days. Finally, the deceased is buried in a small cave or a hollow tree. The largest funerals are usually held during the dry season months of July and August, but funerals are held all year. Exploring Tana Toraha with a local guide is pricey, but it is well worth it. They'll give you a behind-the-scenes look at these fascinating customs as well as some of the lesser-known burial sites and village compounds known for their bright exteriors and boat-shaped rooftops. You can still see some of the more famous sites on a trekking trip by yourself, but you won't have the local insight and insider tips that these tours provide. Number 6. Bukit Luang. 
Bukit Lawang is a small village located on the eastern side of Gunung Loser National Park, about 90 kilometers northwest of Maidan, North Sumatra's capital city. In 1973, an orangutan rehabilitation center was established here. The primary goal is to protect the dwindling orangutan population as a result of hunting and deforestation. Ecotourism in this area provides jobs and income for local families in the village, and it is a worthy charity to support if not for the animals alone. The opportunity to see orangutans in the wild is the main draw, but the village is also worth a visit. It is built in a sustainable manner that considers the surrounding environment. Bukit Lawang is a popular destination for guided jungle trekking and serves as the entry point to the Gunning Loser National Park. Here, you can see Thomas leaf monkeys with their unusual haircuts, walk in the footsteps of tigers and elephants, and go on local bird and nature walks. Number 5. Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park. Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park, located in East Java, is an ethereal yet barren wonderland of volcanic calderas that appear to be constantly surrounded by smoke and clouds. The park gets its name from the union of the Hindu Tengger people and the park's two mountains, Mount Bromo and Mount Semeru. The latter is the highest mountain in the Java region and one of Indonesia's most active volcanoes. The draw here is more about the scenery than the wildlife, but there are some interesting animals to see, including Java Rusa deer, marbled cats, wild pigs, and the occasional leopard. The best part of visiting this park is the opportunity to climb a volcano at sunrise for some of the most spectacular views of this otherworldly landscape. Climbing this still active volcano requires a permit from the National Park Authority, and you'll only be able to do so when the mountain isn't erupting. Mount Bromo, another prominent landmark in the park, is distinguished by its often billowing collapsed crater that peaks out above the lush lowland valleys. Number 4. Lombok. Lombok and its offshore coral ring Gili Islands are tropical paradises that are becoming a popular alternative to overly commercial Bali. Here, you can enjoy all of Bali's appeal before tourism took over, surfing hotspots, uncrowded beaches, and magical waterfalls tucked within steamy jungles, with Tiu Kelop waterfall unquestionably at the top of the list. Lombok is a popular destination for backpackers looking for adventure. This is most likely due to the fact that its volcano-topped jungle provides a great trek surrounded by unforgettable scenery. If you plan on hiking the Gunung Rinjani volcano and its photogenic crater lake, make sure you're in good shape and have booked with a reputable guide, it's not for the faint of heart. When the sun goes down, the Gili satellite islands, particularly Gili Trawangan, have a fantastic nightlife scene. Those looking for culture won't be disappointed either. Mataram's markets are a lively place to pick up souvenirs while mingling with the locals. Number 3. Komodo National Park. Komodo National Park, located in Indonesia's Nusa Tenggara region, is famous for one thing and one thing only, its reptilian namesake, the Komodo dragon. The park, which is spread across three main islands, Komodo, Rinka, and Padar, as well as a collection of smaller islets, provides a safe haven for this strange-looking creature that resembles a dinosaur. It is the world's largest living lizard and can grow to be three meters long. The reptiles roam freely on the islands, and visitors rely on knowledgeable tour guides to spot them and keep them safe. The park has now grown to include the conservation of the entire ecosystem, both on land and in the sea. There are several endemic species, including rinka rats and fruit bats, as well as wild horses, long-tailed macaques, water buffalo, and several dangerous snake species. While the terrestrial creatures in Komodo National Park are fascinating, it is the marine life that truly stands out. The park protects some of the world's most abundant marine landscapes, including the Coral Triangle, which is home to more than 250 species of coral as well as a plethora of sea sponges and unusual bony fish. Number 2. Yogyakarta. Yogyakarta is a thriving city of 500,000 people that is the most popular tourist destination on Java due to its proximity to the world-famous temples of Borobudur and Prambanan. The city itself is a center of education and culture, especially for Javanese fine arts, from theater to ballet performances, and has a variety of tourist facilities. It is also the last city in Indonesia that is still ruled by a monarchy. Yogyakarta is located in one of the most seismically active areas of Java and has thus been hit by earthquakes and volcano eruptions on numerous occasions. In 2006, an earthquake destroyed over 300,000 homes, and in 2010, Mount Merapi, a nearby volcano, erupted, spewing lava over nearby villages. Apart from nearby Buddhist and Hindu temples and sites in the city itself, which is small enough to be explored on foot, 
Yogyakarta is also a great base for exploring the surrounding villages frozen in time by hardened lava on a Merapi lava tour, a sobering and captivating activity. Number 1. Bali. Bali is a kaleidoscope of beautiful beaches, volcanic hills, lush rice paddies, and thousands upon thousands of Indonesian temples, making it one of the most visited and desired destinations on the modern traveler's bucket list. It's famous for its laid-back atmosphere, which has drawn backpackers, surfers, and yogis for years in search of their zen in this tropical paradise. Bali, known as the Island of the Gods, is deeply spiritual, with endless Hindu temples boasting colorful architecture all their own, particularly in Ubud, Bali's spiritual capital. However, all of Bali's wonders have not gone unnoticed, and the island can become uncomfortably crowded during the tourist season, which begins in August. School holidays should also be avoided if possible. Spend your days relaxing on some of Bali's best beaches and diving in the Coral Triangle, which is home to an incredible array of marine life. But the best part about Bali is that it is just as much about doing little as it is about doing a lot. Read a book in a hammock, watch the sunset, and feel the island's slow, laid-back vibe pick up the pace at one of the many lively beachfront bars. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you like this video? If so then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Thanks for watching.